guys, it's Martin Cliff. Welcome to another episode of Music, Minimalism and Mental Health. And I think I'm possibly going to tick all three boxes with this one. Um, so one of the things that I kind of emphasize early on with my bass students in particular and have done for years is that the thing with playing the bass is that the space between the notes or the notes you don't play are at least as important as the notes you actually do play. Um, now how does this apply to life? Well, basically what I want to kind of encourage you at this stage is to embrace the space or to quote Depeche Mode, enjoy the silence, but not necessarily just silence as in absence of sound. Um, but I think so much in life, particularly nowadays where we are bombarded from every side with um, noise and adverts and background music and you now visuals and everything else, um, it can be quite hard to, to avoid, to kind of get away from all that. And um, yeah, it's something that can be quite overwhelming, um, particularly for people with any kind of mental health issues. Uh, but I, I think for most people, yeah, we, we will feel a sense of overwhelm from time to time. Um, now, particularly if you go somewhere, I guess, like Times Square or somewhere where you've got billboards and lights and everything going on. But, you know, in so much, just, just in life, you know, you, you turn on your phone and you're bombarded with, uh, with notifications and that kind of thing. And I think it's really healthy to get to a stage where we can kind of just create a space where we have space. Um, so yeah, if we're talking digitally, maybe you know, turn off your notifications. Or if you can, take a period of time where you completely cut yourself off from the world at large. Now, it's easier for some people than others, but one thing I'm kind of going to, uh, striving to do is to take one day a week where I remain as much as possible, completely screen free. Um, and that technology free, really, what I'm going to kind of be doing is concentrating on, on writing music in that time, concentrating on reading, concentrating maybe on writing scripts for videos, but not actually doing any filming or anything like that. Um, or at least coming up with ideas, maybe writing some songs. Uh, who knows what it is, but basically spending my time um, you know, as much as possible screen free odds are it'll be the day that I go to the supermarket during the week so I'll be faced with the screen on the checkout but other than that, um, that that'll be my goal but yeah just kind of finding some time finding some space now it's something that in music I'm not very good at at all um, the kind of music I make tends to be quite dense um, and it's something that is important and I've been striving towards is um kind of approaching a more minimalistic approach to music, which is ironic because I definitely don't make minimalist music um, as a genre, but kind of, yeah, having more space in, in what I create. And that can in itself be more difficult when dealing with synthesizers and electric drums and um, electric guitars to an extent, particularly with you know, heavy distortion and stuff, is that the frequency range that all these things put out means that in terms of frequencies, there's not a lot of space. Notes tend to sustain maybe more than they would if we were using more organic sounds. So it's more you actually have to be more intentional about creating space uh, when working with more modern instruments than if you've got a piano that you can lay a strip of felt over the strings to dampen and um, that kind of thing. So it's something that you know, I'm far from there with, but it's something that I think is... Uh, good to work on. It's something that certainly I'm challenging myself this year in 2023 to to develop more over time. Um, but yeah, as well, just in our in our physical life, you'll notice that most of my videos are shot with a plain white background. Uh, why? Because I don't want kind of distractions. Uh, in, in the picture, I, I love the videos where you get a perfectly curated uh, desk behind the person or a perfectly curated something behind the person. Um, I don't have space in this current environment to do that. I looked into 
putting some kind of display behind me, maybe with some shallow shelves with some items in and stuff. And then I just thought, no, that's that's not me. Um, so yeah, I I like the the plain background. At some point, I will shoot kind of the other way around with the the, the kind of hanging lights uh, in the background. But at the moment, the drum kit's in the way of that, so this works for me. Um, for a lot of people, not everyone, some people embrace that, but for a lot of people, having a lot of stuff around can be quite stressful. Um, space is a really great thing. That doesn't necessarily mean that we all need to live in massive kind of mansions uh, with very little furniture in or anything like that. Um, but having some free space. Um, yesterday, my uh, wife, Eva, commented that um, the corner of the room looks very different now that the Christmas tree isn't there anymore. Um, I'm filming this mid-January, so uh, yeah, it's only a couple of weeks since we cleared that away, or even just over a week, I think. Um, and yeah, that, that part of the of the living room does look very different. It looks quite empty, but in a good way. It's, it's nice to have that bit of kind of airspace, that bit of breathing room in the apartment. Um, and yeah, not having stuff everywhere, actually having a little bit of clear surface um, can be quite um, restful on the eyes and therefore on the brain. Uh, also means less little things to move when you're cleaning and that kind of thing. But yeah, just embrace the space. Embrace the space in, in, in your life. Um, maybe don't fill every waking hour with stuff to do. Take a bit of time to just be. Uh, embrace the space in your living space. You now, don't fill every nook and cranny with stuff uh, because most of it we don't need and it just sits there and collects dust. Um, embrace the space in your pursuits. Um, definitely embrace the space in music if you're making that. Uh, yeah, the, the gaps between the things not only... Um, you know, help to make the things themselves stand out, uh, which is, is a really good thing. But just give everyone a sense of uh, a bit of relaxation. Air is, is is so important in life. It is the most important thing in life, you know, if we're not breathing. And this is something that I'm well aware of, having had this irritating uh, chest issue for the past sort of six or seven weeks where I can't breathe as deeply as I would like to. Um, I'm not ill, ill. I'm just my lung capacity is not what it was before I got sick, uh, and it's it's frustrating. Um, I can feel it mostly when I sing, but even when I talk, things don't sound quite like they normally do. Um, but yeah, air is air is huge. And what is air? It's space. If we don't have stuff around us, we have more space. We have more free air, and I think that in life in mental health, in minimalism, obviously, in music. It's always so important. Don't try and fill everything. Embrace the space. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.